for somebody trying to learn the sport of soccer and get into soccer, watching this World Cup is beautiful. So I sit down and I watch a little bit of Spain and Portugal, and that game was beautiful. That game was phenomenal. It was everything I could have ever wanted sitting down at 2 o'clock ready to watch that game. That was outstanding. Ronaldo, are you serious with that performance today? That felt like a win for him. I mean, that was amazing what he did out on, on the field today. So there was obviously a coaching change with Spain a little bit before this World Cup. Up. And is that an issue for Spain? We will have to find out and see. Obviously, this wasn't the way that they wanted to start. Ronaldo's playing his teammates. That's a storyline. He's coming into this tournament. He's playing for his country, playing against some of his teammates that he has been with all year around. So early on in this game, about four minutes in, Ronaldo gets tripped in the box. He gets a PK and he buries it for a one to nothing lead. He shows us some emotion. He's jumping. He's he, it was unbelievable. He's giving us some pumps. It was outstanding. Then Ronaldo won a three-on-two. Beautiful little pass. He kicks it to the inside guy who was a younger player, 21 years old. And he had a little bit of jitters. He should have definitely kicked the ball, but he gets nervous. And they don't get a, a great scoring chance like they had the opportunity to. Early on in this game, you obviously had... Portugal come out. They had momentum of this game. They were making plays. They had opportunities. Grade A scoring chances, in my opinion. Two Portuguese defenders in the box. An amazing individual effort by Costa, who, who puts the I almost said puts the puck in the net. That's how you know I'm a hockey player. But he kicks the ball beautifully, well-placed to tie the game up one-to-one. -one. They review it to see if there was a, a penalty beforehand. Uh, what, what would they? Would have called it back? I don't know if I like that at all. Why would they be able to go back and change it? Don't even bring me back to the LeBron thing. Please don't. I don't know why that would ever be a thing. I like it. They tie the game. No call. Beautiful. And then Spain cranks one off the crossbar. Oh, bar down. The replay shows it. The ball did not past the line completely that was an opportunity for them to take the lead outstanding Spain starts dominating they're slowing the pace down they're creating opportunities you like that uh, look at me with my soccer talk right now then in the 44th minute Ronaldo strikes again it was a little bit of a weaker goal the goaltender definitely should have had it it hits off his hands it squeaks in but Portugal has a two to one lead going into the half and Ronaldo has two goals. Spain, after the second half, has an opportunity off a free kick. They go to the back post, who heads it to the slot. He kicks it in. It was a very great play, and it was executed perfectly to tie the game 2-2. Two to two. That is Costa's second goal, and that is in the 55th minute. And now it's Ronaldo two goals and Costa two goals, and it is a legitimate battle. Literally three minutes later, Spain scores again. It was a little bit of a broken play on the left-hand side. They try to center it through the slot, and they one-time it with a monstrous kick outside the box that goes posted in for Spain to take a 3-2 lead. But does that stop Ronaldo? It doesn't. It doesn't. On a free kick, this man, oh my, in the 88th minute, with a remarkable kick, curves over the wall, goes in, top shelf. I know that's not what they call it, right? Upper 90 in soccer. Outstanding. Outstanding. And, and I'm watching him. Like I, I'm not huge into soccer, so when I hear Ronaldo, I'm just like, I understand he's the greatest, but I witnessed it today. I witnessed it, and it was so sick to watch. He ties it up 3-3. Three to three. And at the end, Spain was kind of on their heels. And and Portugal was pushing, pushing, but they had an opportunity in extra time in the box. An amazing play by a defender to block it. A couple corner kicks there late, but it's a 3-3 three, three tie and that's how it ends. And this game was so awesome. I mean, you saw a little bit of everything. You saw one of the greatest players to ever play the game take over and that's why I loved it and this really sparked it for me so I'm really getting into this World Cup I want it to spark my love for soccer I want it to bring me to the next level where I'm actually starting to watch premier games on Saturday during the season that's what I wanted to do eventually but I'm going to continue to watch this Spain Portugal tied three to three that one for the ages some amazing things for Ronaldo in this one he scores in four World Cups. He is the oldest player to score a hat trick in, in World Cup history. Just amazing. Honestly. So, 
He is the first to score in eight consecutive major international tournaments. And the first one I said, he scores in four consecutive World Cups. He is the fourth player to do so. So, outstanding game. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment down below. Thanks for watching.